sponsored by Women Technology. Take advantage of our end of summer promotion, offering a $30 off bundle discount on the whole test takeout panel controls through September 2021. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the MI24P Hind. It's late August 2021. The controls have changed in the Hind since the release a few weeks ago. So we're gonna look at the controls from scratch. Escape, adjust controls. Up here, we can select the MI24. Now there's a good chance that these controls are gonna change again. So I would suggest, like I'm gonna do here, just set up a basic skeleton set of controls that can run 95% of the functions that you're gonna to need to operate the aircraft. If you want, you can go and add some extra bits in after that. We get four sub menus, AI menu, co-pilot gunner, aiming station and pilot. We'll need to set all of them up or you should at least set all of them up. Let's start at pilot. As ever, we'll first start in axis controls. The basic controls we'll need, we'll need a zoom view ideally, and set that up as an axis. I've got it as an axis on my throttle. Next, we'll need rudder. Set that obviously to your rudder pedals axis. If you don't have rudder pedals, I don't know how you could fly a helicopter, but you'd have to find some other axis there. I would also suggest if you've got a terrible set of pedals like me setting an axis tune on it and adding a positive curve to help with that we've got the cyclic roll you'll need for your left and right stick and your cyclic pitch for your forward and back stick and finally you'll need your collective and you're going to set that as your throttle lever on your hotas next i'm going to start at the bottom and work up because i just prefer it that way we need trim is the first one we absolutely need i've set just the trimmer button I fly this kind of like I do a Huey and I've set that as the down function on my trimmer hat on my uh, F-18 Hornet replica stick if you want you can also have a trim reset I don't particularly use it and you can use fine trim control up down and left and right as well if you want I don't bother next we're going to skip a load of stuff that we just don't really need and go to helper AI controls we need three here so I've got a main kind of four-way hat switch in the middle of the uh, joystick at the top. The up command for that, I have prepare weapon systems. This tells the AI gunner in the front to prepare the weapon systems. Aft, I have show hide gunner menu. This allows me to control him as Petrovich with his task menu. And the right, I have select target with the ASP-17 order to fire. And as standard, it already has C for request aircraft control on the keyboard and you can set that on your hotels if you really want. I've just left it as C. Next, fire control, flight control, sorry. Collective brake, uh, you will need ideally the last four way switch that we were looking at. I've got it as the press function of that. Next, engines, not super important, but it is nice to have throttle up and down. You might need it at some point and I've just gone page up and page down because you're rarely gonna use it in this helicopter. Next, cyclic stick. We've got autopilot disengage. It's going to be useful at some point, so I've put it as a spare button on my joystick, like a third trigger, if you'd like. If you're doing MILSIM communications, you will want a radio trigger radio, but I don't bother, so I'm just not doing it. Release weapons is your gunfire, rocket fire thing, so I'm going to have that as a main trigger on the stick. Uh, just sort of trims repeated here. Uh, wheel brake. I've got a paddle on the front of my uh, Hornet replica stick there. Wheel parking brake as the nose wheel steering button on the front of the Hornet stick. Next, assist. Useful to have auto start and auto stop if you can't be bothered to do the full sequence yourself. And finally, ASO2V countermeasures. On the side of my throttle stick, I've got a couple of switches that I use for flares and chaff in most aircraft. I've just put them both there so you can send out the flares if you need to. That is pilot done. Next, we're gonna to move to the co-pilot. First, axes. If you're gonna drive or fly the aircraft from the co-pilot seat, you will need all of the same axes controls. So just set them up as we did with the pilot. And then I'm gonna start at the bottom again. I'm gonna to go to weapon. The ones that we really need here are release weapons. This is gonna fire your rockets. It's gonna fire your guns as the trigger again I've got. And then fire the Sturm to fire the Sturm anti-tank rockets which I've got as a kind of secondary weapon release type trigger on uh, or bomb drop, if you like, on the top of the stick. Next, trim up. And I've just got my one trimmer button there. Next, helper AI commands. This is the menu to control the pilot in the back. 
and I'm going to have uh, my main four-way hat switch on top of the stick. I'm going to have it as the down function. So if I was in here, press it, and there's the menu on and off. Next is the cyclic stick. Trimmer has already been set, and a release weapon has already been set. So that's all we desperately need there. Again, radio if you want to use the radios properly. Next, collective. And just set the collective break again as we did as the pilot. Next, countermeasures ASO2V. Again, just set the chaff and the flare switch that I usually have as that. And finally, importantly, the uh, 9K113. I'll show you what this is in case you don't know. This is the Sturm uh, kind of telescope. This thing here. This is the main thing for the gunner, I suppose. In there. Okay, to turn the sight on and off, I have a third four-way hat on my stick. And the down function, I've got that there. The push function of that third four-way hat allows me to center it, could be quite useful. The up or forward function of that four-way, radiation reset, is useful, can be useful. And finally, I've got observe, which will be pressing a lot. As you probably know, it shuts the uh, front and cages the gyros. And I've got uh, the left function of that four-way hat. We will be banging on that, and I've got the toggle version of it. Zoom in and zoom out is useful, and i am just left it as plus and minus on the keyboard. Seems to work fine. That's all I think you really need in there, uh, but you can add some extra comfort stuff if you want. Next, we've got, uh, let's go to AI menu. So once you're in the AI menu, either Petrovic or the pilot one, all you need is the up, down, left, right to control the various functions from that menu. I've got the trim hat, four-way hat on my flight stick, up, down, left, right. Finally, aiming station. I'm going to go to access commands. This is once we're in this uh, site here. Automatically, you've got the mouse that you can use. You've also got your track IR that you can use. And you can also set your joystick. So I've set here the joystick left, right, up and down. So you've got a third way of doing it. I'll just show that off here if I go down in here. Observe. So track IR, left, right, up and down. Mouse, left, right, up and down. And joystick, left, right, up and down. That's the skeleton of setting up behind. There's extra stuff you might want to go and add. It's up to you. I'll let you know if it changes again. I hope that was useful and see you later.